Hey, welcome back friends. Uh, this week we're going to be learning about an artist named Roberto Brito. And I have had many students when I've taught them about Romero Brito who recognized his art. He is alive and well and still creating art today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, how his journey went to where he is today. So he was born in Brazil to, um, to a very big family and he was creative from the get-go. He was also academically a great student but he was always looking for activities outside of the classroom to stimulate him. When he was old enough, he heard about some artists, you probably heard about them too, named Picasso and Matisse. And they were doing interesting things in Paris and he wanted to go see. So he made him his way to Paris. He immersed himself in the culture, in the art. He explored more of his creativity and he was told about something happening in the United States called pop art and this intrigued him. So he got on the road again, he relocated to the United States, to actually Miami where he lives today, and he became part of the pop movement that was happening in the United States. Enjoy learning about our Artist of the Week, Romero Brito. Romero Brito was born in Brazil and settled in Miami. He is an internationally known artist who combines cubism, pop art, and graffiti painting in his work. He used vibrant colors and bold patterns to express hope, dreams, and happiness, which you will see in his work. He was raised in a big family with eight brothers and sisters. They did not have money for art supplies, so when he was young, he taught himself on any scraps he could find laying around newspaper, cardboard, or even cartons. He went to law school, dropped out, and moved to Paris where he sold art out of the trunk of his car. While there, he got an advertising gig which gave him funds to move and set up as a non-starving artist. He made commercial art for FIFA soccer. This FIFA advertising campaign is an example of some commercial art he created. He also created for the Olympics, Evian Water, Disney, BMW, Caribbean Cruises, and Pepsi. The cool thing about commercial art is you get paid for one work of art that gets used over and over again. In fact, many times you get paid every time your art is used in advertising. So you most likely make a lot more money per picture than a traditional artist selling one picture at a time to those that admire the work. Romero Brito has not forgotten his humble childhood. He has set up philanthropies to help children engage in arts education literacy programs. He donates time, art, and money to more than 250 charities. As with most art projects, coming up with your idea is sometimes the most difficult thing. So what I want you to think about is the slides you saw of Romero Brito. His uh, focus in his art was always something very simple. After he had something simple, he added his vibrant colors and his wild design. But the object that your eye should fall on should be very simple. So I'm gonna show you a few samples that I've done with my students through the years. You're welcome to do any of these, but also any ideas you have of your own are totally welcome. So one idea is copying his flower power, which is look at that simple flower in the middle, and then he has a different pattern in each petal, and then a rainbow of colors surrounding it. That would be a very simple idea. Some of my students have done a fish. And he had a lot of hearts in his art. Hearts would also work. So I want you to think about, before we get started, what you would like to do as your focal point. I'm going to think about mine and we'll get back together in a moment and start working on it. For supplies, you simply need white paper, pencil and eraser, a Sharpie marker, and colored pens. All right, so I'm putting it on pretty quick speed, but all I want you to think about is your simple object. You're going to draw it with your pencil. You're going to outline it with your Sharpie. 
Then you're going to go through in each section, you're gonna do maybe a different design or a different color. The flower already has different sections. Each petal naturally is a different section. But let's say, for example, you do a cat, uh, like his Mona cat. Divide the cat up into sections, and each, each section do a little different pattern. You're just gonna fill it in with your bright colors and your bold design, and you have got a piece of art much like Romero Brito. Thanks for joining us at Art Playground today. If you enjoyed our project, please be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring that bell.